So I'm going to leave my introduction at that point and invite the councillors forward. So starting please with Councillor Davis, and then followed by Councillor Murray. Thank you, Chairman. Um, the, in some ways, I'm rather, sorry, yeah. In some ways, I'm rather superfluous because the deputy has said all I wanted to say really about Fair North West, and you, Chairman, have given us some indication that we will go to the statutory limits. I mean, I hope the minutes will reflect the fact that we are charging the statutory limits. Because I'm sure that many residents would like to see a much higher fine. Personally, looking back to the old days, I'd reintroduce transportation to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and, to make it worse, I'd make them join the cast of neighbours. But the other issues which haven't been mentioned directly, um, the issue of fly tipping, could we clarify what fines are being made for those. We used to have an item on the fees and charges for shopping shops and the charge to make supermarkets for return the fines. That's not mentioned in this uh, report. So, in general, yes, I support what you have said, Chairman, but we will make it clear to residents that these are the maximum we can charge legally. So I'm sure that many residents, for the reasons that deputy said, are just thoroughly disgusted with that small number of our neighbours who don't know how to live in a community. Um, the other point I would make is that all that I've said, all that deputy has said, is in no way critical of streets and operatives. Because Fair North West and one lot of we have the best street scene operative in the whole park who looks after our ward. He does a marvellous job and I like to pay tribute to him. But he cannot be everywhere all the time. And so that's why we need to clamp down and transport to Australia all those who drop litter, all those who allow their dogs to foul, all those who fly tip, all those who <coughs> dump their shopping trolleys. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much, Mr. Davis.